Remington probably doesn't want me to tell you this, but you don't need to use a lot of ammo to get better at shooting. You can dry fire, and dry fire is a really important thing in shooting to get familiar with your guns. Every time you get out of the car, you don't think about taking your seatbelt off or look down to go take it off. It's just muscle memory and you do it every single day. That's the point of dry firing, is getting that muscle memory down so you don't have to look at your pistol. You just do it and you're used to that. The basics of dry firing is putting on your belt and making sure there is no ammunition in the magazines or the guns. It's dry fire. So there's no ammunition. You're going to be reloading your magazines, just practicing getting in the movement of reloading those mags without any ammunition. Practicing bringing your sights up and getting that perfect sight picture every single time and being familiar with your gun. You'll probably reload about five times in a match, but you could practice that reload 500 times at home in about an hour. I guarantee you after that dry fire practice, those five reloads in that match are going to be perfect. A dry fire drill that I like doing is getting familiar with the draw. So I like to split the draw into three different steps. A lot of people think it's just one swift movement, but I like to split it up into grabbing the gun like this, moving both hands at the same time. So I like to use a reference point, which is my magazine, touching it, and one, two, which is like a karate chop pretty much, to putting your hands together at the gun. So two, and three, which is bringing your sight picture up and seeing that dot. And for me, it comes up in the same spot every single time because I have that muscle memory of knowing exactly where to bring the dot each time to where my target is going to be. So I don't have to sit and search for the dot every time I bring it up and get frustrated with it. I've trained myself to bring it perfectly so it's flat each time I draw. So this is what the three steps sped up would look like. Just like that, I get the same grip every single time, the web of my hand right into the gun, nice and tight. My hands like this every single time. My fingers fit perfectly like that into each other and extend the arms. They don't have to be super extended like this and not super bent like this, but I find just a happy medium. A reloading dry fire drill I like to use is starting with the gun, empty magazine in the gun, so I get used to dropping the magazine out instead of just putting it in. You can practice just putting it in if you wanna do that, but I like to think of it more realistic and have the mag in. So I get the feel of dropping it out while also placing it in at the same time. You can start from a draw and do a reload, or you can start extended and practice that reload like that. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe, hit that notification bell.